Howdy everybody, Michael Mass here. Welcome, welcome. Guess what? I'm back, you're back, we're back. We're back at Epcot. We're back at Flower and Garden. Flower and Garden 2019 begins today. We're gonna go in, we're gonna check out the merch. We're gonna go in and check out the topiaries. We're just gonna go in and check it out all in general. Maybe minus some food this time around, but uh, let's get inside, let's check it out. And if this is your first time here, as I stumbled there, if this is your first time here, join the masses, check that subscribe button, and let's get inside. Please stand clear of the door. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. So, as we make our way in, the front is kind of just basic this year. A bunch of butterflies, no Disney characters in the topiaries up front, but I haven't been here and I haven't actually talked about this yet, but these, these Leave a Legacies are leaving. They're leaving a legacy. They're leaving uh, Epcot shortly uh, as Disney has made announcements that the Le Leave a Legacy and that whole area right up there is gonna be redone and they're gonna revamp it and make it very, very much open and very much more, I don't know, just fresh. I've seen the, I've seen the looks of it. If you've seen the looks, go look it up. It is definitely a whole lot more open and a whole lot just more, I don't know, appealing uh, to the eye. So let's go on and get in here and uh, check out some topiaries. Well, Daisy's a superstar. There's stars all around her, and that is the first, first, first topiary you're gonna run into walking into Flower and Garden this year. We are gonna take a right and go check out the topiaries over near Living with the Land and Soarin' and all that stuff, and just kind of make our way around. Before we do, there's also been plans to eliminate this. This Club Cool, Starbucks, all of this area over here. Let's just say there's been plans filed to just demolish and start building again. So we are gonna see a whole, whole lot different Epcot in the future. What are your thoughts on, on the fact that they're totally just redoing Epcot? Is Epcot something that you skip on a regular basis because it's just not enough going on for you? Or is it some place that you love, mostly because of the festivals, but just because of, of everything that Epcot is? Let me know that down in the comments. On to the topiaries. We stumbled our way on over to Figment and Journey into Imagination. And guess who we found protecting that? None other than Figment himself protecting that uh, as it's the standard topiary that's kind of been moved around the last couple years and now it's in front of its home. It's in front of Journey into Imagination. And we're over here in front of Guardians, in front of Innovations. Guess what guys? Nader? Nader and the guys from Cars over here holding down this area. And as we make our way up just a little bit farther, we have Buzz, we have Woody, and we have Little Bo Peep right behind us here. Uh, Buzz is in a little bit different place than he normally is, because Buzz is normally over in front of Mission Space. And uh, he's decided to hang out with the rest of the Toy Story friends this year. Guys, I'm gonna take a break from the topiaries real quick, and we are gonna run inside and check out that merch. We've made our way through mouse gear and I will tell you this I didn't think that, I didn't feel like there was a lot of uh, merch in there so we're gonna make our way to the festival shops up here but as you do make your way through and you, there's a reason to go in there if you are an annual pass holder they have those magnets they have they have Daisy and Pluto in there for the pass holder magnets magnets during the festival right behind me over here right in there if I'm correct there uh, is the butterfly tent and I will say this, right now, if you'll notice like the topiaries aren't all bloomed and all colorful, they're kind of just green right now. Well, that's because this is a living festival and everything's growing. So if you head over to the butterfly tent right now, not as many butterflies as you will see in a few weeks. Uh, same thing goes on with the flowers and the topiaries because guess what? They are blooming and everything is growing. We have made our way to the festival shops right here at the entrance of World Showcase, so let's check out the merch. As you would expect for any festival nowadays, they have the ears, they have the Zesta Fest ears, they are the purple, as well as they have the peach and pink ones, which I think they had either those or a similar one last year, both of those $27.99 and $29.99 
respectively. Also, bunches of new hats. This is usually where I have to end up getting a hat. And this Mickey turnip hat here is usually where I would go. I'm gonna see if I can just hold out on this because I really haven't spent as much money on hats in the last year. Last but not least, well, not even last but not least, but shirts, 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 spirit jerseys. You have the Zest, the Fest, you have the Minnie Mouse uh, Festival jersey. Uh, you also have plenty, plenty of other shirts left and right. Minnie is definitely rocking the gear this year. Every There's a ton of gear with Minnie on it, and it starts with that garden party, uh, what's that, jersey, festival uh, spirit jersey, uh, as well as many, many other things with Minnie on it. So all the play on words there and all the stuff you might even want for your garden as they have those those like yard stones they have some yard signs they have other figurines that you can put into your yard so just like it wouldn't be the flower and garden without the flowers it definitely wouldn't be another festival without new merch that disney has definitely lined up there and all of it if Especially, especially if I was into rocking the pink and, and rocking mini mouse and stuff like that, like it is legit. But before we go too much farther, we're making our way in here and we just missed these two. There's Goofy, which is ridiculously tall, ridiculously tall. And Pluto back over here. And we're about to see my favorite part. This is my favorite part right here. Just this right, this tapestry of flowers that they've lined up behind us. make our way into World Showcase and you probably can see me now. <laughs> it looked like the sun was definitely taking me out there for a second. Uh, you saw Minnie and Mickey, Mickey and Minnie. You saw Donald and the boys and Chip and Dale and it seems like there's a little bit of love, love, love theme there. Isn't there like hearts everywhere? Love, love, love. I, so, so I love that obviously uh, as it definitely goes along with how I feel about a lot of things in general, but definitely love, love, love that entrance. And we're going to keep walking around here, checking out, checking out the topiaries. We are just walking straight past uh, food right now, which is a little hard for me to do. But this video is really just all about the topiaries and the merch. So as I stare at food right now. <laughs> As we continue making our way around, looking at the topiaries, we are also passing by, and I don't have the schedule here in front of me. Uh, if we run into it, I'll plug it in here. But as well with the uh, flower and garden, just as every other festival out here, you have a concert series, you have the Garden Rock series. Tonight, one of the singers, one of the members of Journey out here, as I was walking by, they were playing Any Way You Want It, that's the way you get it. So that's what's going on tonight, and check that festival. I'm sure there's a schedule somewhere. But uh, wow, it is busy, busy, busy today here at Flower and Garden. Well, we have made our way all the way to France, which means we only have like one country in front of us, probably three, four more topiaries. But here's where Belle and Beast are. And we have another version of Beauty and the Beast. You, you tell me which is the beauty and you tell me which one is the beast as Miss Piggy and Kermit. Kermit, right here. Boom. Kermit have arrived at Flower and Garden, which is really cool. I'm sure this is going to end up being a festival favorite this year because this is the first time they've ever been featured here at Flower and Garden.
is just about it. I think I got all the topiaries. If I missed one, please let me know if you've been here already and you're like, hey, you missed this one because I forgot and I didn't see it, but I made my way all the way around. I looked for them all. I definitely got them all. What was your favorite? My favorite this year is definitely Kermit and Miss Piggy. So I like the new addition there. They also moved some around. Like in past years, or Winnie the Pooh was, different side, different side. I like I liked the fact that they're moving them around, doing something different a little bit. And of course, I always love this. This is like tapestry of flowers here uh, going into World Showcase. Guys, let me know, like I said, let me know what your favorite, what your favorite topiary was. Yeah, let me know if you're gonna be making it out to Flower and Garden this year as well. Uh, I plan on doing a food video soon, maybe sooner than later, I don't know yet. Um, just depends on when I get a chance to get over and get one done. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to hit that like button. Guys, if this is your first time here, join the masses, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, guys, thank you for your time. Here's the life.